Yeah, we're in flight now. Commercial pilot and engineer Dana Tomale's passion for aviation runs deep. I grew up next to a small airfield uh, in Southern California, and I used to watch the, you know, the small Cessna 172s come in and, and land, and um, I thought, you know, why not when I was picking a career? Growing up, Tomale might not have imagined that she'd be operating a plane in this way, but late last month, she was part of history, operating this Cessna 208B caravan with not one human being on board doing all of her work from this control center in Mountain View, 50 miles away from the plane. We operated it out of uh, Hollister Municipal Airport, and basically the taxi, the takeoff, the cruise, the landing, all of that was over a scale of about 12 minutes um, for the uncrewed portion. Reliable Robotics is the company behind the autonomous flight system. Though they've flown a smaller plane without a pilot on board in 2019, they say this flight was the first time a cargo plane of this size was operated remotely by a private company. A system like ours will go a long way to um, save lives and, and prevent accidents. CEO Robert Rose says their technology will improve aviation safety. In order to move the pilot out of the plane and into a control center, you need to have a more advanced navigation system, you need to be able to automatically land, you need to be able to automatically take off and auto taxi. And many accidents on small aircraft today are are due to issues um, during those phases of flight. And though Rose says he sees the system rolled out more broadly for cargo first, the hope is that it could one day transition to passenger aircraft, something he said could facilitate better travel between smaller airports. Instead of needing to fly out of San Francisco, Oakland, San Jose, we could take a flight out of Palo Alto or Reed Hillview or San Carlos. With pilots like Tomale's expertise still needed to operate the system, Rose said he sees it adding jobs. I think we're going to have factor 10 factor 100 more aircraft as we move into the next decade. So I, I see this as a growth opportunity for aviation. The technology still has to be certified by the FAA, something Rose says they're well on their way to doing. In Mountain View, Zach Fuentes, ABC 7 News.